shoulders are out and the shoulders are out. Does this bother you? <coughs> Hi guys. First things first, uh, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you things today. Some things I cannot live without. And in the midst of that, you might see this this tragedy and you might be tempted to ask yourself does she know what her nails look like right now and I am aware okay we're just gonna accept it we're gonna move on I know it's tough to look at we're gonna move on first thing I would mention is my anxiety medication because truly I think that's the only thing uh, I can't live without but if I show you that this video will get demonetized and that's a reality a sad reality. Can we normalize mental health and taking medication for mental health please? Because the fact that if I show you my pill bottle of my anxiety meds I'll get demonetized is absolutely absurd. If you take medication for your mental illness I'm with you. Okay let's kind of do face stuff first, makeup stuff first. If you don't know this, since quarantine I've stopped wearing false lashes and eyeliner and before quarantine I would wear false lashes and eyeliner every single day so this is very big for me I am out in the world lashless eyelinerless and I'm just you know embracing loving it living breathing the problem is if you've watched my other videos I have three lashes and they face down and so that can become problematic when you're trying to transition off of false lashes because you feel like a naked mole rat. But I have discovered a mascara that is just sweet angel babies and it is by the company Essence. And this mascara is literally, I don't know, $3.99. So you are welcome. And it has saved my little tiny baby lashes. There's hopes and dreams for my three lashes that they have a purpose in this world and they... <laughs> I have this weird feeling that Essence is a Canadian brand, but I'm actually not quite sure. So maybe it's not, maybe it is. But it's Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And it looks like this. It is good, my friends. It is good. Second thing is foundation that I've been just living, breathing, dying for, and it is by The Ordinary. And this is like $8.99 or even cheaper. I don't actually know, but I am obsessed with The Ordinary. My whole skincare regime is from The Ordinary. But anyway, I use um, the coverage foundation and the serum foundation and I mix them together. I am innovative. <laughs> I use the color 2.0 and that's because you know me ladies we self tan here. We self tan here every day. Really cheap, really wonderful. I use a beauty blender and it just you know it makes me feel like I look put together but like not like I have foundation on make sense if we want to stick to the ordinary um, I'm also gonna mention just a face product that I use and it is the hundred percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil you can get this from <clears throat> hello you can get this from a lot of different brands um, but this one is like again like eight bucks and it is oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't do that to you guys. But this one, again, is like eight bucks and it's absolutely incredible. My skin has been thriving, especially now that I am in Alberta, where it is, you know, so dry. Now I know uh, I recently made a video regarding my self tan situation. And then my self tan situation switched. So I'm here to update you because Shoppers Drug Mart started selling Bondi Sands. Bondi Sands? Maybe it's Bondi Sands. Is this? It's too much. Bondi? Bondi? Bondi Sands. Why? Why is it? Why is this so difficult? I started using the Ultra Dark Self Tanning Foam Mousse. Honey, this stuff is no joke. If you do not participate often in the self tanning world, don't go, don't jump here first. It is intense but 
I absolutely love this stuff because I'm finding that it's lasting longer. So I'm actually going two days between self-tanning instead of self-tanning every single day if you watch my self-tan video. But this stuff has been incredible to me and if you live in Canada, I found it at Shoppers Drug Mart. They are now carrying Bondi Sands. Moving on. So I'm back in the gym finally. Could not be more grateful, joyful, happy, elated that the gym is open again. Although I worked out throughout quarantine, I got one 25 pound dumbbell that's lasted me five months, honey, and these legs are ready to lift heavy. But I did want to mention what kind of kept me going other than my 25 pound dumbbell during quarantine, and it is these. Now, these are from Amazon. They're called Polygon. We're going to do this again with the name thing. No, these are called Polygon. They come with three different sizes of these booty bands, honey. And these are absolutely incredible, best bands I have ever purchased. They do not slip, so they have the grips on the inside. If you use booty bands or bands in general for anything, you know that the slippage moment when you're just you start to feel the activation of the glute muscle, and then the band slips up, and you have to start again. <sighs> no, ma'am, not here. These are amazing. They are really, <laughs> really tough, though. Even the lightest one is quite, quite intense, but these have been so good to me. I've been using them non-stop during quarantine and now that I'm back in the gym I've been using them to activate my glutes in between heavy sets that's another that's another video but I'll link these down below because I think they were like I don't know 20 bucks off Amazon and there's three different kind of weights to them light medium and heavy amazing the next thing I'm gonna mention was actually a gift to me but I have been using it so often and during this time in my life, if you watch my previous videos, I'm kind of doing inner child work right now, doing some healing, if you will. These have been absolutely incredible to me. These are meditation cards. They are from the website www.mayyouknowjoy.com. I'll link it down below. Again, this was a gift, but I had to mention it to you. So it comes with a deck of cards. You just kind of pull one as you feel necessary. And then on the back they say, may you know, and then they have, you know, different words. So this one is, may you know, celebration. And then you go to the little booklet it comes with and flip to, may you know, celebration. And it kind of gives you just a description of what this card means and then an opportunity of something to meditate on. So celebration, you read the kind of definition and then you go into a meditation about celebration. I've been doing 10 minute meditations every single day trying to get myself into a habit of meditating because it's one of my goals and this has really helped. If you don't want to do a guided meditation but you kind of want to have some direction, honey, get you some meditation cards. While we are in that kind of world, uh, I am going to mention a book. If you follow me on Instagram, then you have seen this book already, but it is called When Things Fall Apart by Pema children. It's, I just, it's so freaking good, okay? You don't even need to be going through something to read this book and for it to touch you, I don't think, but let me tell you, in the midst of going through a lot, this book has been everything I needed. I actually, it's the only book I'm currently reading and I'm going so slow and rereading it as I go because it's just incredible. She is amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend this book. If you are struggling at all, if you're going through anything, even if you just want something that's gonna reach into your soul, get this book. I think this is the last thing, but this is an essential oil called Stress Release. Honey, this is from Sage. If you go into Sage, um, Sage is like, 
Target for me, where you go in being like, I need that one essential oil, and you walk out, and you have 14 roller balls and essential oils, and you smell like you dipped yourself in the ocean of spirituality, and you just feel connected. <laughs> uh, so I guess Sage is one of my favorite places. Anyway, when you go in there, it can be kind of overwhelming. They have everything labeled, but there are so many, so many essential oils. And this stress release one, it is the only one I use in my diffuser right now. And I mean, that might be because I'm stressed, but it is incredible. So if you're looking for a new essential oil, Sage, stress release. You're welcome. And the last thing, the very last thing I'm going to talk about that I cannot live without is my plants. I definitely am a proud plant mom, but for more reasons than I think a lot of people realize, um, these plants <laughs> mean so much to me. And that is because when I cannot take care of myself, when I cannot bring myself to do things for me, I take care of them. I water them, I make sure they're in the right sunlight, I repot them, I take care of them, and in turn, I feel like they take care of me. And I never knew what plants could mean in your life, and now <laughs> that I have gone to the plant place, I will never return, I don't think. But I do have a few of them here. If you don't know, they traveled across Canada with me and they will be traveling back across Canada with me. I love them. They are everything to me. And if you struggle at all with depression, anxiety, mental illness, I really recommend getting a plant. I know that sounds absurd and it's not going to solve your mental illness whatsoever. It's just to take care of something else that in turn takes care of you is so healing and to watch something grow and thrive. It's just beautiful. So that's my little rant on my plants because I really truly couldn't live without them. I mean, I could tell you what all of them are and really get into it, but I feel like there's a very small audience that would enjoy a video about just me and my plants. But if you're interested, you let me know. <laughs> Anyway guys, those are a few things that I currently cannot live without. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, I did want to also mention that I recently uploaded a new podcast on my Patreon account, so feel free to go there if you want to listen to it or even just go there to support me. Um, the podcast is very vulnerable. I'm sharing a lot there, so if you're interested, go there. Please don't forget to subscribe and I love you guys very much.